Hey, 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 it is Charles, and I hope you're all doing very well indeed. Guess what? This is my... Oh, what's this here? It's a picnic table. It's a sort of uh, fold up, my fold-up picnic table from the other video. And we'll put a tarp over the struts that I showed you. So this is now my observing table. Why do we need an observing table? Surely we just need a telescope, a lens. Why do we need an observing table? What's that for? Oh, it's so you can see what you know what you're looking at. Otherwise, you'll never know what you're looking at. You'll never know what people say about a particular object. If you're just going to use a, a, a go-to lens, uh, that might not be uh, the best thing to do. So um, come come over here. Well, please come over here, eh? So let's uh, take a look at this observing table. So basically, you need a few paperweights. You need a couple of astronomical catalogue books. So I've got Hartung's for the Southern Hemisphere. He was a Melbourne Uni chemistry professor. And uh, I've got James Murian's uh, in his How to Use an Astronom Astronomical Telescope from the 80s. And over there, oh, look at that. I've got, uh, I've got Norton's, so I can see what I'm looking at. And you know, guys, this is what astronomers used. This is what an observatory had before telescopes. This might be more important, therefore, than a telescope. Because you want to know exactly what you're looking at. Otherwise, what are you looking for? What are you using a telescope for? Is it just to see beautiful, pretty pictures in the sky? Well, you can look at those in a book. Are you doing astronomy or are you doing photography? If you're doing photography, astrophotography, that's a bit, that's a, that's a different thing. That's a bit different to visual astronomy. Uh, I don't consider that to be quite in the same league as this because it's more about the challenge of setting up the, the, the thing to take photographs, which is the objective to take pretty pictures, photographs usually. And I don't see these astrophotographers analysing and saying, oh, this is the this is the Birkeland current, oh, look how old that star is, look how old this star is. They're, they're, they're sort of doing it, um, it's almost like fishing the biggest fish. I'm not sure if that's astronomy just at this stage. But anyway, that's how I've set it up. Um, this light, it's a, it's a headlamp. Got another headlamp here. You paint them red. So that one's painted red. So I'm not sure if that can switch on or not. Twist that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh it's like in Monkey Magic. So anyway, I'm not sure. Is that blinking? Oh, it's blinking. All right. So I reckon you can hang that there with a clothes peg. Clip that on. It's another light. Um, yeah, and you're all set to go. Oh, and of course, I've got my... Uh, Look at that, Space Shuttle Challenger pencil case, just to, uh, you know, that's from the 80s. Huh, not bad, eh? Anyway, paperweights, and you're ready to go. You can start drawing objects, you can start doing what you want, having some fun. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video. I think this is very important, stool as well. Uh, when I've always wanted something like this. And finally, I've done something about it. I think it's essential for astronomy. You can put a laptop, drill a PowerPoint there if you want. Anyway, all right, guys. I'll see you later.